What's up there everybody and welcome back to Trucking with iVision. We're here in our kind of with the W900 and we are in Nevada still at our last drop off point as you can see here. Up in Winnemecca and uh, today we are taking a load of frozen vegetables to Sacramento. So 38,500 pounds almost. So a good little journey. About 330 some miles. Just gotta get this uh, boat connected up here. Well, let's go and grab that. Don't mind the trailer ship back there, but it is a doubles load. As you can see, doubles. I uh, just don't mind our oversized load. We were uh, we took a oversized load up here, and uh, just there's not a shop to remove it. So. You know, I mean, but it's kind of like a double, you know, double's like an oversized load, a little bit longer. But, uh, looks good. Everything's looking good. I like the, see how it connects there, that little hitch. Like, that's cool. So, but let's hop into it. Let's see where we're going. Well, we already know where we're going. This will be a nice journey, though. It's through the world of trucks contract. So, the release of New Mexico is coming soon. So they're celebrating by getting all this stuff delivered. They need lots of it, so that means doubles for everybody. So that's what we're doing. We're kind of getting in the festivities just a little bit. Look at that. Look at that. Cool. So I'm really looking forward to New Mexico. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Whoa, down our side of the road. Uh, and it'll be nice to have something new finally, something to check out, to play around with. Hopefully it'll bring the community back a little bit, uh, and we'll go from there. But I definitely would like to uh, get into a new truck for when we check out New Mexico. So I'm definitely open to suggestions on that. Otherwise, uh, I pick something. You know, oh hey there, buddy. Let's see how this works. So I cut it just a little short. Stay a little wide there. There we go. How we do that? All right. Let's see here. Did that? See, early morning runs means no traffic and hot air balloons. No traffic and hot air balloons. It is. That's that's a good thing about the morning runs. We're very early in the morning here. Let's take a look. 7:50 a.m. 318 miles. It's gonna be a nice journey. That's for sure. Looking forward to it. Uh, hopefully we'll see some stuff. Good old traffic. Maybe not too much traffic though. Not too much, but just enough. I think we're hopping on to I-80 or US-80. It's here. I think we're doing 8. I think we're going on Interstate 80. Though I'm pretty sure that's the way we would it would take us. It'd be kind of ironic to be doing 80 on Interstate 80, but hey, I am okay with that because we will not get up to 80 miles an hour. Probably probably top out around 70, 72. That's about it here. Doesn't feel like she's got any more power to give us. Degrees Fahrenheit already this morning. If you guys are the Celsius type of person, then I cannot do the conversion for you. I've tried to figure out, like, it's kind of an easy way to. Like, I think it's only, what, 30, 30 degrees difference? Maybe something like that. Do Celsius, so. 82 Fahrenheit would be 112 Celsius, maybe? Uh, you know, I, I don't know if that's right. I'm, I'm just guessing. But, or no, 50, 52 Celsius, right? Because Celsius is, is lower. I'm getting slowing down here, boys. What are we doing? I think that's what it is. So it'd be 52 degrees Celsius. Or somewhere around that range. Now, now afterwards, I'm going to go and look it up. Because I'm, I'm kind of curious. 
if somebody does know the uh, the difference, you know, like what it is, definitely post it in the comments. That's good, you know, because there's some stuff that we do that's Celsius and other stuff that's Fahrenheit. And our viewers are definitely from all over, so makes a huge difference. Uh, what else is going on? I know the last time we talked that, uh, whoa, dude's hitting his brakes. Hey, man, that's just not cool. I hate people that do that. Uh, you know, I got to fight, fight my boss at work. Now me and my boss are, seems pretty cool. You know, I've been talking again. So, you know, hey, yeah. Sometimes you just gotta say your piece and things change. Well, we're still at ends about, uh, we're still at odds about a couple of things, but hopefully it won't be too major. And you hear that Porsche? So this is a great bios. So other than that, uh, you know, the other thing is, so I've been, I've been debating about replacing my tablet. So I have an Android uh, tablet, it's an Asus, which I, I love to death, like I'm glad I got it. Uh, but it, it's it's past its prime. You know, it's it's really running slow. It's got some miles on her. There's nothing wrong with her though. You know, other than the fact that she's slow and old. Otherwise, swear tear, like it's all good. Like I could probably sell it as brand new, for the most part. Like there's not a scratch on it. There might be a scratch on it. There's not like a dent or anything like that. And it's just like I don't want to get rid of it, but we it's definitely I need something new. Now, nothing against Apple. And nothing against iPads. But I think I want to get another Android tablet. And uh so if that's the case, does anyone have suggestions on what to go with? Now, if there's people that like Apple and their iPad, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. My cousins got them, my bunch of people in my family have them. I just want something different, you know? And that's why I like, like Android for the tablet. I already have an iPhone for work and all that. And I already have a Mac. I don't, I don't need no more Apple stuff. No more. no more. Now, if you guys are like, and everything else out there's crap right now, well then, well then I'll debate that one and see what I want to do. But, I mean, the only tablet that I've really been looking at Android wise was one of the Samsung tablets. So, like I said, if anyone's got any suggestions on that, then drop them in the comments below. So, I'd be kind of curious about that. And we're in this like convoy though. Convoy that. Ooh. I like how the brakes just work and all that stuff. Like, that's nice. See, it's kind of tough to do it when you got someone running like that because then you're constantly jacking your brakes because you're not sure where they're at. If you look super cool though, you know, like you're like sitting right behind the truck or something. And we got like the uh, the driver that's been like looking at a magazine or something. So he's over the road. He's like, "Whoa, coming over!" And then he's like, "Coming back!" And he's like, "Whoa!" See, look like, at this guy slowing down again. But yeah, whoa, stay in your lane, bro. Stay in your lane. But looking good though. Otherwise, I think we're gonna get over like. Just gotta, we gotta pass this stuff, this whole crazy mess up. We don't have time for all this. Yeah, take that, Mr. Porsche. Didn't think a beat train would be getting past you now, did ya? Mm hmm. That's like neat, uh, what was it, Fast and Furious 4? Where they got like, uh, so we don't have the oil. Oil cargo, but, you know, we got the cars, you know, and then here we are in our little. Well, you know, good horn, and then they take our uh, take our liquid gold. But that's a great franchise, you know, Fast and the Furious. Oof. Great, great franchise, I think. And then they came out with that Need for Speed movie. Never saw it, but from what I've gathered, total flop. 
So we can't be can't be having that. Now I am super excited though for the new Need for Speed game coming out here. Looking really forward to that. I think that comes out in uh, what another another couple weeks here. If that, maybe a three weeks. There's a ton of stuff coming out though in the next month and a half. Tons and tons of stuff. We can get over here. Can nice. This will. Wayne merge. That's beautiful. Always make sure, you're, boys and girls, when you take your driving test, always look. Make sure you give a good look when you merge. You also check your mirrors a lot too. And, and when you do it, like make sure you're really getting a good look there, so they see you giving that good look. Even though it's like, yeah, I can see out that mirror without looking. Yeah, I know. Before we do it, otherwise I ding you. I forget what I got done. I got dinged on a couple of things in my driver's test, but uh, I did pass it on the first go. So that's that's good, right? We are going to Sacramento on Interstate 80. This is beautiful. Gotta pass the city here. I like this. Photo time. Let's see what we got? Yeah, we got some. Uh, we got skills point available. Whoa, what's up with the load screen? That's a newbie. Well, that's a newbie. Let's see what we got around the, the area, though. It's kind of cool. I like this view. And I kind of like... Yeah, I like that big building over there. But this one's really nice. Just get the right look here. We're not perfectly in the lane, but we're not not in the lane. Yeah, we don't want that. And we got to get rid of the blur. I don't know why they have all that blur on. I kind of get it. Kind of far away. It kind of gives you a little bit of focus, but I don't like, I don't like all the blur. Oh yeah, we're definitely like some of the only people on the road here. Only people, it's so... Yeah, that's craziness. Alright, back on the road. Yeah, I kind of wish we had a little bit more than just the one tall building. Like, it looks good in here, and then you get like... To the photo mode and you're like eh, I don't know oh no so what else is going on uh the new emergency anniversary edition emergency 20 should be out uh in the within the week here I believe it's the 28th so that's uh that's exciting and then uh what else we got? Call of Duty. I'm actually kind of looking forward to. I'll be interested to see how like the online stuff is. I but I really want to play the story. I think. At least I think I do. I don't know. I feel like I want to. It's been a while since we played a Call of Duty story from like World Wars. But uh, we'll see. And then uh, Battlefront 2 though. I'm really looking forward to that. Like, that's definitely high on my list. Uh, what's Battlefield doing? Has anyone... Is that, is that it? Is there, is there a new Battlefield coming this year or no? Or is because Battlefront's it, that's it. That's what it is. Which is fine. I think it's good to have a longer development cycle. So it's kind of cool what Call of Duty's doing. I think because they have three different studios doing their games. That at least gives you a more, a little bit more time, but we'll see how that all. They haven't really produced nothing great, I think, since they started that that cycle. Just the, which is disappointing. Like, what was the Infinite Warfare here? Was that the one that just was out? Like, if not a fan of that at all 
Like, I thought it was going to be cool, but it just was not. I didn't care for the story. Uh, some of the weapons were kind of neat. Other ones were like, eh. Uh, and then the one thing that always drove me nuts was being on that ship. Like, I gotta go on the ship, go into the... Into the, uh, the bridge. Pick my mission. And then I gotta walk all the way down to the flight deck. Go through the armory, pick my load out. Then go down to the flight deck. Like, it just, that was just too long. Like, I just wanna go, go, go. But this is beautiful, huh? Look at this. Some country woods. Why can we only hit 65 in this thing? I don't get what we got. We got like a speed limiter on this truck or what? Slowing down. Oh, there. What's the sign say? Steep grades ahead. I think it's our first time on Interstate 80. This is beautiful. Holy cow. This is just beautiful out here. Let me get a nicer view for you guys. Because it is just remarkable. Ooh. I like it. Let's go. My other thing I was thinking, and I've talked about it before. It's the Dalton Highway. Doing like a video for that. Oh. You can bypass the way station. Thank you. Uh, but I don't. It's just. The problem is, is the length of the drives are so long. Like, there'd be no way to do a YouTube video for it. I'd have to. Unless I drove it and cut out portions. Because we're talking. A load could be a nice three, four, or five hours minimum for me to deliver and that's real time like can you imagine a like, five hour delivery now if we were like a live stream that'd be a little bit different but I think people would still get bored say hey why you still got the same load why are you doing this I see that freeze holy cow that was crazy wow I'm telling you with updates sometimes of ATS like the game gets worse some of this stuff. Frame drop issues, uh, the stuttering, like, I had it, then they, like, the next update, update, they fix it, then the next update, they break it again, and it stutters. Like, I was like, what are you guys doing? Let's fix it. Don't, don't keep breaking it. Oh, hey, he's got a school bus. Another thing that I have is every time I load up my game, it says I've got, you know, an updated version. And I never, like, write down the version number I need to, because what's... I just don't know if it's, like, the game's getting updated that much, and it could between the times I play it. I really don't play, like, that often. Like, when I'm not, like, boarding, I'm probably not driving. You know, unless I've really got nothing to do, and it's kind of like, uh just do something relaxing, have a drink. Not that I condone drinking and driving, because I don't. I do that. But uh, drinking and gaming, that's, that's a different story. You know? So. That, that's just my opinion there. You know, or what, I should say my opinion. Or how often I play. If I, we got to be back in California. Doing 55 for a speed limit. No, we're doing 60 on this road. So all these cars are passing. They're all passing me. It's not cool. There's the good old scenic. Oh, gotta hit them brakes a bit. Look at that. I just like how you can see all the lights and what all just comes about. It's harder. Oh, brakes. We're still raining on them. Oh, hey, that would be why we're doing 70 miles an hour. Holy cow. Oh, break. We check.
Yeah, that would explain that one. When you're, when you're cruising around at 70, you're going to catch up pretty darn quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I enabled the cruise control. The W900 must have adaptive cruise, though. It's the fact that it's got the retarder engaged. Maintain our speeds. That's, uh, that's gotta be what that is. Or it's using the engine brake. One of the two there. Oh, brake! Oh, Jesus, man. I had to bring her into the, into the guardrail there. Kind of like, uh, you guys know, you guys all know I watch Ice Road Truckers, all right? And so, you now the latest episode, Reno, uh, who's still a ward son, uh, ended up uh, driving his truck into the ditch to uh, prevent himself from uh, doing a number on a, on a vehicle coming in the opposite direction, so. That's the only thing you can really do when you're a truck. You just gotta, you gotta go. You gotta go onto the side. Because you will, you will do a number on people. With how much your truck weighs. But uh, I was actually going to war this week. And, uh... We're gonna get over just, uh... Safe side here. We're getting close to our destination though, I think. Let's see, let's take a look here. Oh yeah, we are six miles. Wow, we we're like very close. I can't believe we're almost over. I can't believe it. This was a short. Or at least it seemed short. So I got what to say. But uh, I was heading to work and on the highway there, a uh, vehicle in front of me popped a tire, swerved a, you know across the lane, and because of that, you know. Like there's a semi next to us and he jacked his brakes hard. Like real like those things you can see the smoke come out. That's how hard he jacked them. And I'm saying like, if he wouldn't have been able to stop the car in front of him would have really been, been in for a bad day. But So that was a my little fun story. Whoa. Hey there. But other than that, oh yeah, you know, Ice Road Truckers, I like it, but it's kind of getting stagnant, I think, in Canada there. I don't know if it's just the people, the way it does stuff, I, you know, I just don't know. But it's starting to get a little stagnant. It's been out for 11th season. I think it's this, this year's their 11th season. So, not a, not an awful run, but, you know, not a, not a short run. It's definitely been a long run. All right, let's see where Walmart's taking this bad boy. I don't know why it's got a Walmart sign there. It's definitely not a Walmart. I bet it's going right here, right? Yep. Oh, hey, buddy. I don't want to hit your shopping carts, but like that's got to be pretty close. Oh, no. Oh, there it is. It's got to swing this bad boy up and over. You only get one shot at something like this with the B train. Sure. There she is. There she be, boys and girls. There she be. How beautiful. How beautiful. So that's gonna do it for us. Let's uh, drop her. Four of them legs. Nice. Sinking with our World of Trucks contract. Well, the truck's contract's completed for. I like it. It is just beautiful. So that's going to do it for us this time, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll uh, look back out here. Here she is. Nice and good to go for our next load. But I'll catch you all next time, hopefully, with some more trucking with iVision. Vision.